with Charity Chambers. Bob Jones head baseball coach Jared Smith said it best earlier this week. It's not often that a team goes up against the same team in the semifinals that they did the year before. But that was exactly the case for the Patriots as they took on Hewitt Trustville this weekend. Now, after getting swept last year in the semifinals, the Patriots out for revenge. They pulled out the win in game one yesterday in eight innings. If they win game two today, they are on to the state finals. Bob Jones, the home team for this game. Let's take you to the bottom of the third. Score tied at zero, but not for long. Camden Hill sends one to right field. Stewart Edge booking it on home. Patriots get on the board first, one to zero. Same inning. This time it's the Alabama commit Dylan Ray who hits it up the middle. Camden Hill scores, so it's two to zip. On to the fifth inning now. Same score. And it would be Hill again, this time with a nice hit for the RBI single, Michael Strickland. Coming into home, Bob Jones goes up three to nothing. But if we learned anything from yesterday, is that you don't count the Huskies out. Sixth inning, Zachary Defnell gets Hewitt Trustville on the board with this hit to left field. You see John Bishop there coming in to score. So now it's three to one. Top of the seventh, same score. Tyler Malden with the hit to left field. Baylor Hancock comes home. It's three to two. Remember yesterday, guys, the Huskies tied up the game in the seventh inning to force extras, and well, they would do the same today thanks to Bishop, who hits it up the middle to bring in David Lanham. So tie game and two extra innings we go. Bottom of the ninth, Bob Jones down four to three. They got a score here to stay alive. And it is Slate Alford. He's going to come in really clutch. He hits it over the left field wall. That's good for a solo homer. So now we have a tie game four to four. Fast forward, 13th inning now, guys. Still 4-4, four to four, bases loaded after they intentionally walk Alford. Don't want him potentially hitting another homer. Ball three for the next batter up, and he would be walked. Bases were loaded, guys, so Patriots win and walk off style 5-4 to four in 13 innings. The Patriots are heading to the state finals for only the second time in school history. And here's head coach Jared Smith after the huge win. We're just super proud of these guys, and um, you know, anytime you make the state finals, you know, it's just special. So, um, you know, it'll be first time for me, first time for any of the coaches, and first time for the players. So, uh, we're excited about the opportunity. Uh, but I hope the guys are not just happy with getting there, and, and we want to, you know, win the whole thing. So we'll see if they'll get, be able to take home the whole thing as they go up against McGill Tulin in the finals. And this is their first trip to the state finals since 2001 for the Patriots. First game will be on Friday at 6 p.m. And let's take a look at some of our old, other local